Well, I'm one of the few Nashville natives. There's kind of a little crop of us right now that grew up in Music City that are now uh, making our way on Music Row. But I think that intimidated me for a long time because you see so many people come and go. Like every babysitter that I had growing up was an aspiring singer-songwriter or singing jingles to pay for college. And you see how this town can be heartbreaking. I mean, people come chasing this big dream and, and it doesn't always work out. And so I came kind of late to succumbing to that musical call. And, and, and the path to there for me was kind of unusual in that I did a benefit tour in 2009, which was called 90 Gigs in 90 Days that honored my late brother and his battle with addiction. And it made front page news here in Nashville. And I was able to get a meeting with the great Paul Worley, who's an incredible famous producer here, because I think he thought I was just crazy enough to make it. And we made a project together and that project got me signed to Capitol. So that was really how I got discovered, was through that tour and Paul taking me to meet Mike Dungan.